Hey friends, how are you today? Welcome back to Bible class time. I'm so glad you're here. Yesterday, we talked about a story from the Bible, from the book of Luke, called the Good Samaritan. We learned about a Jewish man who was hurt. In fact, he was attacked by bad guys. And he was left on the side of the road with nothing they had stolen everything from him, and he was laying there hurt. He needed help. And we learned in that story how three people walked past. The first person saw him, kept on walking. The second person came, kept on walking. But the third person, a man from a place called Samaria, was a good man, and he stopped and helped. He showed compassion that's a very big word we're going to talk about today. Now then, have you ever heard that word compassion? Compassion means to show love to someone and understand how they're feeling a little bit. It means to, let me see how to explain it. If a friend is feeling sad, you can kind of, oh. You feel bad for them. You feel sad too. You want to make it better. You want to help them. If a friend is feeling scared, you want to comfort them and help them to not be scared anymore. Maybe if a friend is feeling happy, you feel happy too. That means you have a heart of compassion. You understand the feelings of those around you and you want to help them. You want to make it better. That's compassion. Well, today we're going to read a make-believe story. This is not in the Bible. This is just a pretend story to help us think about ways to show compassion. I know you show compassion. I know you do. Every time your friend falls down on the playground and you help them up and you say, Oh, are you okay? And you help them walk over to a teacher or... Anytime somebody is sad or lonely and you give them a hug or a high five, that's showing compassion. Well, listen carefully to this make-believe story and see if you can hear ways that this family shows compassion to people in need. I bet you can. Listen carefully. The Khan family is who we're going to learn about today. The Khan family gathered around the family computer to look at a website. Mama and Daddy wanted to show their children a website called Compassion International. And this group helped meet the needs of children in need from around the world. The family started looking at pictures and it showed us so many pictures of children that didn't have what they needed every day to live healthy lives. Mother explained that many children around the world don't have three meals a day. They don't have enough clothes to stay warm. They can't go to school because school is not free. They don't have the money to go to school. And they might not even get to go to the doctor if they get hurt or get sick. They don't have what they need because their family is very poor. This group called Compassion International connects children who need help with people who will pay people who will send them money to get the things that they need. Well, as they continue to look at pictures and read about each child, the little boy in their family named Ralph began to feel sad. Mother asked Ralph, What's wrong, Ralph? What's wrong, buddy? And he said, I just feel bad looking at these pictures. I mean, I can go to school all the time, and, and every time I'm sick, you take me to the doctor, and... And I always have plenty of food to eat. I'm never, like, really hungry and not have food for days. And it just makes me feel bad when I look at the pictures of these kids. It, it kind of, I just feel bad for them. Ralph was showing compassion. He was understanding that these kids have hard situations. And when you have compassion, you want to make it better. So let's read what else they did. So Father opened his Bible and he read the story of the Good Samaritan to the family. God provided for that hurt man's needs. 
when he sent that man from Samaria, that good Samaritan, on that road and to help take care of him. We have an opportunity to be good to our neighbors and show love and kindness just like the Samaritan did. Father said, we can be like the good Samaritan and help these children. So then Father prayed and asked God to guide them to a child that their family should help. That's pretty awesome. They saw a need. They saw somebody needing help, uh, all these children, and now they're going to do something about it. They're not going to walk on by. They're going to help. That's fantastic. Well, the family continued to click on different children's pictures until Ralph said, oh, Look! There's a picture of a little boy, and he's from an African country, but look at his birthday. He was born on the exact same day as me. We have the same birthday. Ralph was so excited. So together, the family decided that that would be the little boy that they would help each month. Mother smiled as she reminded Ralph that his name means the compassionate one. Wow, he said. I guess I can kind of be like the Good Samaritan, too. I can't wait to write a letter to that little boy and sign my name on it. He couldn't wait to show that little boy some compassion. Isn't that wonderful? This family is being just like the Good Samaritan. They figured out a way that they can help somebody that needed help. And that's what God wants all of us to do. If you know someone that needs help, we can help them. You can help them by praying for them, by picking them up if they fall down, or by maybe sharing. If you see a friend that doesn't have a snack and you have two, or you, you could share half of yours, what a blessing you could be to them. Let's show compassion. Well, help me listen carefully to these questions and see if we can help figure all of this out. Now, why did the family want to, to sponsor a child? What did they want to do? They really wanted to find a way to help people. So they found this website and they wanted to help a child in need. And sponsor a child means that that family from now on would send maybe some money so that this group could take the little boy to the doctor so they could help get him the food he needs or the clothes his family needs for him. They could help this little boy by sponsoring him each month. And just like Ralph said, he could mail in letters or pictures, maybe be an encouragement to him. That's being a wonderful good Samaritan. That's right, showing compassion. Now then, what excited Ralph when he read the information about the little boy? They shared the same birthday. They sure did. They shared the same birthday. And maybe he was like, that's who God wants us to help. There's, there's so many people and we'll focus on this one little boy and we will help him. Maybe that was just a sign from God that we need to help this little guy. How cool. God always answers our prayers. They had prayed to God. God help us see a way that we can help somebody. That's wonderful. And now that little boy will be blessed because they have read the scriptures. They've learned and they have that sweet, soft heart to show compassion for others. I really like this make-believe story because I like reading about Rolf when he saw these pictures of all those children on, on that website. He didn't, he didn't look away and say, oh, oh okay, I want to go play my video game or I want to go outside. He looked at each of those faces, and, and it kind of made his heart feel bad. He was feeling compassion for those children. That's a sweet heart. Good for him, and he wanted to do something about it. That is just what God asked us to do, to show compassion for others. I love that. I love it. We're going to pray for compassion for your heart and for mine for everybody that we come into contact with. Let's pray for that now before we talk about our Bible workbook page. Will you bow your head and pray with me, please? Help, you want to help me sing? Do you? I hope so. I always sing this every day with our class, don't we? 
Mm -hmm. And I bet Miss Rush and Miss Cabin's friends have learned it with my class as well. Help me sing it. God is listening, God is listening. When we pray, when we pray, bow your head so quietly, close your eyes so tightly. Now let's pray, now let's pray. Dear God, I thank you so much for this terrific day. Dear God, thank you for your Bible that you give us. Thank you for the, the words that we know is, is the way you're speaking to us. You're, you're guiding us and helping us learn, dear God. We thank you for the story of the Good Samaritan and, and showing compassion. Dear God, thank you for the story we heard today about a little boy who wanted to show compassion to other children. Dear God, I pray today that that I will have compassion on anybody that I come in contact with, dear God. Please help little boys and girls from school. Please help my school friends to also have that compassionate heart to help anybody they can, no matter where they meet them, to show that same love and goodness just like our Savior Jesus does for us. He wants us to show that compassion, and we know all that love comes straight from you, dear God. We thank you for the blessing of getting together today and learning more about you. It's through your son Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Oh, thank you for praying with me. Oh, I love it so much. Now, today you have one Bible workbook page to do. I think you'll enjoy it. It's just easy. It's page 102. All you'll need is a pencil. And this is the instructions. It says, Compassion International helps people show love and kindness to children in need around the world. Circle the things a child needs to grow up well and learn to serve God. So these are pictures of things that people need to live and have a healthy, safe life. These are not things that you just want. Like, let's talk about it for a minute. Do you need food to live? Yes, you do. You need food to live. You have to, your body needs food. Do you need an Xbox? No, they're fun and they're nice to have, but you don't really need that to live. Okay, let's think about another one. Do you need a house? Yes. You need somewhere safe to keep you warm and dry. When it's raining at night, you need a shelter, a nice safe home. Every little boy and girl needs a safe home to live. Everybody needs that and not everybody has it. So that's definitely something you need to live. Do you need candy bars? No, you don't need candy bars. You might like them, you might want them, but what do you really need to eat? Healthy food, sure. Everybody needs healthy food to stay alive. And some kids don't have it. Some kids would love to have a piece of broccoli. I mean, they would love to have, can you imagine? not ever having chicken nuggets and french fries like we have all the time we're so blessed these sweet children are in places where they might not have very much to eat at all they only might have a little bit of rice maybe a little bit of beans and that's all they can't go to the refrigerator and pull out a soft drink or a sweet tea or a chocolate milk they might have to walk a very very long way to go get water and it might not be very clean we are so blessed oh we're so blessed to live where we do and have the things that we have God wants us to remember those that don't have it and show compassion so if you will today pray with your family pray with your family about showing compassion to whoever you meet in your life that you will help them in any way you can and you can complete this workbook page with your mom and dad and maybe take the time to thank God for the blessings in your life. I'm thanking God for my blessings and I'm thanking God for you. Oh, I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll see you again soon. I love you. Bye, friends.